episode of Mood Boys. <laughs> Brian, Brian, come back. Oh, he's, and he's gone. Whew. Oh, hit my mic a little bit, but we're back. Welcome to another episode of Mood Points. I'm Dylan. This is Brian. Let's go. Yeah. Topic number one. Brian, let's talk esports, huh? Oh, please. Come on. Let's go. Absolutely. Let's do it. Uh, right off the bat, uh, I kind of want to get it out there. Are esports real sports? Um, so, I, yes. Okay. I make the distinction between esports and traditional sports. Um, you know, traditional sports is basically self explanatory, explanatory mm -hmm. football, uh, other the other football. <laughs> uh baseball whatever yeah but i certainly consider esports uh a, a sport it's people competing at the highest level right uh massive stakes massive amounts of skill required strategy oh i, I love it right and i agree with you in that sense that i would say esports are a real sport mm. but that brings me to my next point yeah are the people that play this esport real athletes oh in my opinion certainly 100 percent. why um just the skill that it takes uh, to, to compete with anyone else and win, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, that, that makes you an athlete in my mind. A lot right. of these high high level players, they have strict regiments, uh, constant training sessions, working 12 hours a day, uh, all the marquee signs of an athlete. There. See, and that's kind of where I disagree because I think to be considered a real athlete, you need to show strength. You need to show just like overall fitness, agility, um, I could go on and on, but just, you know, those three, I think are very important to be defined as an athlete. You, let me ask, let me ask you this. Would you consider chess a sport? Mm, no, I wouldn't. I would consider it a game. I would consider it a, a mental game that, you know, takes a lot of brain power. Sure. But I don't see any reason to call them an athlete or say they display any signs of athleticism. I, I really think that our definition of sports and our definition of athlete and athleticism will evolve because of esports. And that's where I can agree with you. Yeah. I think right now they may not be considered athletes, at least in my mind, and I'm sure a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the future, who knows? There could be a revision of what an athlete is, you know, actually defined as. Who um, knows? Who, who knows? knows at this point? It's a gray line, and, you know, only time will tell. But. Let us know, guys. What do you think? Are the people who play esports actual athletes? And are esports as a whole a real sport? Let us know. Next topic. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Don't even... you. I will leave I, this okay, studio. Okay, 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 okay. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah. Sorry. This is a sensitive topic. <laughs> real topic. We have an upcoming game that, you know, is sometime coming in 2018 that a lot of people are excited mm, for. What game is that? Let me tell you. We are talking about Kingdom Hearts 3. Ooh. Ooh, and the crowd goes mild. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, it is, it's the third edition to the franchise, and, you know, a lot of people are excited about this one. I know I am. It revolves mm. around, obviously, the main characters, Sora. We got Riku and Kyrie followed by some you know classic disney characters oh, yeah. in this one they actually have buzz lightyear and woody coming from toy story which i think is really Whoa, cool i have not been keeping Whoa. up <laughs> um and they obviously you know try to attempt to bring down master xehanort um you know a, a lot of people are excited for this one and like i said it comes out sometime in 2018 hopefully, hopefully. we have no specific date mm -hmm. um I, I don't know if you've ever played this uh but are you looking forward to it you know talk to me i mean you know i haven't uh played kingdom hearts okay but Everyone who I've ever talked to who has ever played any of these games ever loves them. Um, and from the footage that I've seen from the gameplay, I, I mean, they're just awesome. Like, it's so Looks really good. It's so fun how they can do some kind of idea like this where they take Disney characters and you think it's just going to be some wacky thing. Mm -hmm. But then it's actually a very immersive story with right. really rich, satisfying gameplay. Um, so I'm excited for the third one, just kind of conceptually, like... Uh, I'm excited for the gaming community, all, all my friends who are passionate about this series. I'm excited for them to have something new. For sure. And uh, the cool content. I might watch it on Twitch. Uh, do we know what platform it's coming to? Actually, Brian, I regret to inform you that it's only coming to PS4 and Xbox Ones. It will not be on the PC. Wah, wah. Sad. That is 
too bad for them because they don't get my money. <laughs> oh, well, we're doing, we're doing this over again. If you watched last episode, you know what this is from. But, you know, I'm excited for it. Mm -hmm. You can come on over. We can play. Okay, okay. We can have a sleepover and just get jiggy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's about it for today. If you ever have anything that you want myself, Dylan, or this guy, Brian, to include in the Moot Points episodes, let us know on Moot. Let us know on our social medias. You can find our handles right here. Or if you ever want Charizard to say anything, just let him know. You got anything to say? That's a stoic one right there. Yeah, not much to say from Charizard today. Uh, but check out Moot. We got a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, Brian will tell you a little bit more about what we're doing in the uh, God of War Lounge. God of War just came out, incredibly hyped. We are running the hashtag MyKratos event. All you gotta do, quick little text post, maybe some images if you want. Tell us what game you would put Kratos into if you could put him into any game. Kratos, any game. Kratos is an awesome character with some sweet abilities and sweet backstory. You can go in any game. Tell us what game you want to see him in. One lucky winner takes home a God of War themed PlayStation 4 Pro bundle with prizes for other winners as well. Wow. Check that? it out. God of War. Let Lounge. your imagination run wild. Sean, put a wild horse running across the background, please. Thank you. Uh, but for real, guys, we have a lot of cool things coming up on Moot, so make sure to check us out. Uh, before we go, though, you know what time it is. Oh, it's my time favorite time. for the meme of the week. Here it is. Wow. That's... That is something. That is something. Well done. But without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, see you next week.